So it's just about noon and I'm actually really not used to starting my day off this late. I had some work to do this morning. Um, I was, I've been watching this new TV show. It's called, I think it's called 13 Reasons Why. I was up super late, woke up late today. <laughs> And I ended up uh, editing today's video, that of which should be posted by the time you're watching this. And it is the ranking the Yeezys uh, in order of, of which ones I like best kind of thing. So I was just kind of catching up with what my day's kind of uh, consisted of today. Uh, right now I'm gonna meet, meeting up with Aldo because we are headed over to Fairfax because Pastor Chad Veach is having a pop-up shop. And if you guys don't know who Pastor Chad Veach is, he is a head pastor at Zoe Church, which is like a newer church here in Southern California, uh, more specifically in LA. And this is kind of random. I actually never heard of a church doing like a pop-up shop, but I, all these pastors dress so dang good. Pastor Rich Wilkerson, Judah Smith, Chad Veach, all of them dress really well, so I'm assuming it's gonna be, it's gonna be really cool. So let's go ahead and check out what they have. I've kind of seen pictures already uh, posted because Pastor Chad Veach has kind of posted like what's going on in the pop-up. And some of the pieces look pretty cool, so I'm really excited. Um, so I'm gonna go head up and meet up with all those. It's getting really windy now, so let's go ahead and get in the car and get it going. Did you wear uh, yours today? Yeah. Nice. Dude, say what's up to the vlog. Oh, dude. What's going on, vlog? Yo, I miss you guys, man. Um, We're going to have a good day today. Dude, it's going to be a great Boys day. Boys day out. Let's Boys go. day out. <laughs> we got the mock draft going right here. King's at number five. All we need is Neems now, you know? But uh, Neems, man. Come on. You here, you're here, and then I'm here. We should get the triple threat going on right now. That's what we need to do. I'm from AZ. Shout out to Phoenix and shout out Paul, all the support. A lot of love, lots of. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, appreciate you, brother. Yeah, nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. What's up guys, so we just got here to Fairfax. It's actually not on like that main street that we're usually on, but I'm super hyped. It was a long drive, but it's gonna be worth it. It looks really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and show you like the entrance right now, and yeah, let's see what it looks like. Pardon the interruption, guys. I just wanted to say we just got done at the Zoe pop-up. It was cool. Unfortunately, there's a lot of things that were sold out completely, which is nuts to me. Uh, they're still going for another six more hours. Um, we're gonna head over to Melrose. We're gonna go to round two, see what they have over there. Just kind of put around the area. So please continue to enjoy this B-roll as we head over to round two.
decided to make a random stop here at Daniel Patrick to kind of run inside and see what they got. Bro, you're so sick to work here. Sorry. Dude, yeah, Daniel Patrick quality is just superb. I don't have the white small, the black and the small. Ooh. Yeah, I'll try that one. Alright, for sure. Oh, wait, I got it. Uh, uh, yeah, these are so hot. Do you should try the ginger one? Alright, so these are in store exclusives. Size small. I don't like the red ones as much as I like the black ones. I think I'm gonna pick, if these fit, I'm gonna buy them. They're 250, but they're, ex they're exclusive, obviously, and these are just so freaking dope. It's just perfect for summer. And like I don't mind spending 250 on them because I don't mind spending 250 on these because you, I'm gonna go to these all the time. Oh really? Yeah, perfect. Exactly. And dude, yeah, you, I, I can wear these every day. Oh yeah. Like theoretically. And then you can let me borrow. Just pull off a little Bruce Lee on them. Yeah, dude, Daniel Patrick is just amazing. Look at these, dude. I don't look good, These are beautiful. These are so beautiful. This too. Yeah, this looks like the murder squad online. Okay. What's up, guys? So we just got here to Fig at 7. Um, round 2 was awesome. We found some good stuff, but unfortunately, nothing that like caught our eyes that were the right size. So we didn't get anything there. Kind of hang out. It's been a really good day, wouldn't you say? Uh, this looks good. Wait, taste, oh no, it's like a, what is that, taste food mall. So we decided to take a lunch break. We're so hungry. Um, I don't think we've eaten, oh I haven't eaten since breakfast. And it's like, I think it's almost like five now, or actually it's six now. Um, so we're gonna eat real fast. I got some Chinese food here. He's currently getting his food, and right after that we're gonna head upstairs do a little bit more shopping. Um, I know that this H&M here has a lot of cool stuff, like a uh, divided gray is like, kind of harder to find, and they have that stuff here, so we're gonna try and check it out. And yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit right after we're done Before eating. you stop that. Oh, here we go. Before you stop that. Look what just happened. What just happened? Oh my. So mad, dude. The guy hands me a sample, and it's like that spicy thing, yeah. and, it, and like some of like the sauce. Like when he gave it to me, I, I grabbed it, and like it like dripped down, and I felt something. I was like, no way, dude. If you get a stain in like a shirt or like anything white, grab an ice cube and rub in little circles. I don't. I'm pretty sure it lifts up the stain if it's fresh enough. It'll come out. I mean, at least a little bit of it. Yeah. This is a pretty gnarly stain, I'm not gonna lie, though. Alright, dude, I think that's the best we can do, bro. Okay, so we just got done eating. Zara's right behind us. We're gonna go ahead and walk in and see what we can find. I haven't been to Zara in quite some time, so hopefully they've restocked and. Just stocked up on some good stuff. These look nice. All those just Miz thinking about his, <laughs> his shoes, dude. <laughs> dude, honestly, it's just that literally killed like my vibe, dude. <laughs> to be honest, it's actually really cool. It's nice and light too, you know. The Daniel Patrick though. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. Tommy Bahama vibes. Oh, there's a blue one too. Oh yeah, look at that. They do have one. Sure. Like it'd be like. I wonder if they have pants that go with. Look at this hair here. It's like an acid wash. It's a good look. I really like that look a lot actually. It's a pretty nice jacket actually. Got some like embroidery. Like a zip-down jacket. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, these zippers. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the zippers are pretty junky. Yeah, all right, there you go. I'm not crazy about how it fits and sits. Yeah, it's like all right. Dude, that looks killer, man. Dude, it actually does look sick, huh? Sip it up. You're like a race car driver. <laughs> No, real talk, it actually looks really dope, dude. So we're going to the last spot of the day here in LA. Walking it into H&M. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, guys. So I guess you can't film out outdoors or like out in the mall, but we're here in H&M now. We're gonna see what we can find. They usually have a really good divided gray section here, so we'll see what they have. And yeah, hopefully find some good stuff. Here's the divided gray section. Honestly, it looks pretty weak right now. A little bit. It's actually kind of nice too. This is actually kind of nice. I know, yeah. Kind of like that. Band tees. I don't know. I feel like the ones here, H and M and stuff. I feel like they're just so like slim fitting and too thin, and just the way they're structured, they don't look as good. Oh, can we film in here? Okay, sorry about that.